My name is Kate Freeman. I am a senior government major from Plano, Texas. I write for two main reasons. The first one being all the people in my life who have been directly affected by cancer, especially my best friend and roommate, Liz Hagog. She was diagnosed with leukemia in middle school and she underwent chemo and radiation and then received a bone marrow transplant from her brother that saved her life. Um, through our friendship, I've been able to see firsthand how the effects of cancer are really long lasting and even when you're cured, they continue to affect your everyday life. Um, for Liz, it's been really hard for her at times, but she's handled everything with such uh, poise and grace and she really is uh, my inspiration to work harder every day and I want to ride for her so that she knows that even though she's beat cancer, the fight isn't over and that I'm here to fight with her. Um, I also want to ride for my uncle Mike who's a kidney cancer survivor and my cousin Amy who's currently battling a brain tumor. And then the second main reason that I ride is for caretakers. Um, my sister has been critically and chronically ill for the last like 10 years and she's spent countless months in the hospital and has had over three dozen brain surgeries and um, I've seen the toll that it takes on a family and especially the parents um, so I want to ride for parents like mine who have sacrificed everything for their children and all of their time money and energy goes to making sure that their child is okay and that their other children are okay when they're focused on the sick child as well and so I just really want to ride um, for all those people and, and for caretakers especially. The pillar of Texas 4000 that I most identify with is charity. I think when we think about charity, we often think about um, all the money that we donate to cancer research, which is really important. But through being the Sierra Travel Chair, I've gotten to see a whole different side of charity from all of our hosts. Um, I get to talk to hosts all over the country that are willing to open up their homes and their churches and their schools to us and let us stay there. They also provide us with food and showers and blankets and laundry and Wi-Fi and things that um, we really need and are essential to the ride. And it's been really incredible to get to talk to these people that are just as passionate about Texas 4000 as we are. And even though they've never met us, they're willing to share their whole lives with us um, so that our ride can be better. And for me, that is the most important part of Texas 4000 um, because the ride really couldn't happen without the charity of all those hosts and donors all across the country. Texas 4000 has impacted my life so far by really giving me um, a place to call home at the university. I transferred as a junior and had a really hard time making friends and like joining organizations because at that point most people have already been in their organizations for a couple of years. Um, but when I joined Texas 4000 I really did gain a second family and I know everyone says that but it's really true. I've made some of the best friends um, that I've ever had and people that like I know will be my best friends for the rest of my life. Um, and it's also allowed me to grow as a person in a lot of ways and to try to be more patient and to be okay with not being in control of everything and um, and definitely the physical part of it too. I've never been like a great athlete and um, biking 50 miles in five hours is something that I, I never really thought I'd be able to do and so Texas 4000 has already shown me that really uh, that anything is possible if you try hard enough and um, I think that that will just continue to prove itself throughout the summer.